so this video is to basically explain what I'm doing to prepare for boot camp. I leave July 12th. That's when I leave town. I fly out July 13th and that's when I should arrive at Great Lakes, Illinois. Uh, at Tmeps you receive a start guide. I recommend looking through this. I look through it so much. It is falling apart. Do not be afraid to ask your recruiter questions. That is a big must. The, there are four things in your start guide that you should know. And number one is the Sailor's Creed. I'm the United States Sailor. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. And the second one you should know is, yes, the 11 general orders of a century. These are very important. A little tip on how to memorize these is the second word is always different than the one before. So to take, to walk, to report, repeat, quit, receive, oh, it just, it goes on. And the third one is rank and recognition. Um, I am very afraid of going to boot camp and calling somebody something they are not because I have heard stories about how you it's just something that you should just avoid altogether. So make sure you know what is on their sleeve, what is on their collar, what is on their shoulder, just the little things that help. And number four is your RTC chain of command. This, I, I admit, I don't look at my start guide every single day, although I should now that my shipment date is approaching, but just make sure that you're familiar with these things because it, I believe it will help you out in the first week or not first two weeks or so. Um, those are the four main things. Make sure you know your, how do we say this? Your facing movements. Make sure you know them. It's your basic skills. Maybe I'll make a video on how to do them properly. I I don't know. It's just because I remember when I learned how to do them, I did not do them correctly and my recruiter had to tell me that I was I was basically fucking up and it's not that's not good. Um what else? Exercising. Exercising is Something that is very important, either I personally want to meet the standards when I go there, where I actually have a paper on the back of my little iPad case, oh my gosh, of the standards that I should meet. If you are an 18 year old girl and you are joining in the Navy, you enlisted in the Navy, the standards that you must meet well, this is according to my height and weight. I believe I am. They said I was five, six. I'm like five, seven and a half. I don't know. Around there, but I'm not five, six. And I weigh roughly around 150. So for my standards, I should be able to do sit-ups in 62 sit-ups in two minutes and 24 push-ups in two minutes. And I should be able to run a mile and a half in 13.30. Can I run a mile and a half in 13.30? I don't even know, but what I do know is that I have been running a lot lately and something that I do to keep track of how far I've been running and how much I've been running is I use the Nike app. I have been very bad about doing cardio. I absolutely hate it. Before I enlisted, I started lifting weights. And I believed that that was a great way to exercise. It is a good way, but in order to prepare for boot camp, it is not. You will be doing only cardio-based exercises, and a lot of the exercises that you will be doing, it will be with your body only. So that's just something you have to get used to, and adding on muscle mass is just going to slow me down in the long run because I already weigh around 150. And it's not going to benefit me to add on more muscle for my legs. Although it may make running less strenuous, 
the time that I'm go that I'm spending lifting, I could be spending running. And if I'm, I, although I do love lifting, it is not something that I recommend doing. And it just lowers my risks of getting hurt before boot camp. So I have been very bad, and I have only been running. Oh, you cannot even see. Oh well. So I have only been running. The last time I ran was in March before June. So, I mean, just yesterday, I went for almost a two-mile run. That was an accident. Just, if you cannot run, oh, just try jogging out two miles as much as you can. Something that I decided to do was to purchase a weighted vest. I figured if... <laughs> my logic is very messed up but it works for me. I decided to discourage myself in, in order to get encouraged. I, so I bought, I went out and I bought this eight pounded vest and I was like, yeah, if I can run with this and not feel like I'm dying, maybe I can, and make it at a decent time, then perhaps I can run without the vest and I'll feel like I'm the flash and I'm super fast. It works. But at the same time, I realize that that is not something that you should be doing every day. Also, I had an individual call me who just finished boot camp and he told me to listen to Flower and to do push-ups to it at the same time. I will look it up for you. Right now it's Flower by Moby, I believe. So when that goes, bring Sally up. It's it it's a very good workout for your arms. I am a wuss and I only do it on my knees because So you go up and you go down. Go up and you go down. It goes on for thirty thirty minutes. <laughs> Three minutes and thirty seconds roughly around there um i'm a wuss and i only do it on my knees because i have zero upper body strength when i was lifting i would only do legs why leg day was great so um also in order to prepare for boot camp actually i've been packing up my belongings not necessarily packing it to bring them with me because you can't really bring much to boot camp i mean I'll get into that in another video. Um, but just packing my things up, getting a sense of I'm leaving home, I'm going to start something new. It's just, although I know that I won't need these things, it's just helping me realize that I'm moving on to bigger and better things and that I am moving away from a house that I've lived in since I was a baby. So it's it's it, it's helping me prepare for the shock of going into something going into the unknown i suppose um aside from that i don't think there's anything else that i've been doing before getting ready for a boot camp um that's my biggest thing i would say know all your stuff in here well, not all of it, but the main four things. See this grade, 11 general orders of a century, ranking recognition, and RTC chain of command. And you should be okay for a while at least, but that should help make things a bit easier. And make sure you talk to your recruiter and you know what standards you have to meet when you go to boot camp. So, because you have the E2 challenge test when you get there. So, if you know enough material to pass the, the written test, I believe, and then you go and you pass your physical test, then you're good. Then you're at E2 now. Then you have no problem. And you'll thank yourself in the long run. So, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. And I hope you all have a great day.